how much stuff is in my pencil case? Let's find out. So, we will take a look. You've seen this, guys, on my channel already. But this is what I now have started to put in and use regularly into this bag. And it opens up from the front. It's getting easier the more it's used. And you can see there. So, used often is the thin white Posca pen. The 1M or something. Then I've got my mechanical pencil. Then I've got my Mono Zero eraser pen by Tombow. I'm really pleased to have that. That's quite new for this year. And then I've got the my regular fountain pen. I've got my dip pen here for dipping into my bottle of ink. I like to do that for drawing. And then I've got a regular Bic Blue Biro because I do use those quite a lot because, you know, they're handy to have. So that's in that small pocket. So in here, I have all sorts. I have correction tape because I like to draw with that and create patterns. I've got felt tips, like from Papermate, medium point, because you can create watercolour effects with them. I also have some leftover Stabilo Pen 68 pens, because again, they're vibrant and they last longer than regular children's felt tips do. I have a really bad compass. I'm still looking for... Um, see, this design, why I don't like it by Mayped, is this plastic thing is in the way. It only goes, because it's a safety compass, it only goes, the cap opens, that's it, and it gets in the way on the paper. You know, when you're twirling, you've got to really make sure it's stood right on the point, which doesn't always happen. And the cap kind of just, you know, mucks everything up. So there's that. And then there is, we put things over here, the Stabilo, not Stabilo, Sharpie permanent marker. That's a fine point. I always like to have a permanent pen. And then I need to get a new one, but this is an old water brush by Pentel, and a quash one, and I'm not that keen. And I don't really use water brushes that often, but sometimes when it's, it's more convenient, basically, if I'm at a different area of the house and I, you know, want to use watercolours, these are really good to use, but, I mean, just look at the state of the brush. It's really, really, really bad. So I'm going to be looking to get the Faber-Castell one because it looks quite good. And then I have another permanent marker by Bic. It's the marking pocket one. And over in these little pockets at the back, I have my erasers. So the Stettler one. The Faber-Castell Dust Free and a regular supermarket one called, I think, Precision. And it's okay. But I prefer the branded erasers, to be honest. I got the supermarket one when it was like a, just a backup, basically. When I'm waiting for orders for my others to come. And then in this other little pocket, I keep ink cartridges for my fountain pen. Just these little blue things here. And there's just little odds and ends. I've got leads for the mechanical pencil. And I think I feel some blue tack or a broken bit of a razor. Yeah, an emergency bit of an eraser. That's the Stettler one. And I've also got things like my um, friction, pilot friction pens. I love the clickers. And you've seen these on my channel, so I don't need to go into what those are. And just then, that's it really. Just felt tips and 
I've got the Stabilo um, fine liners too, the 0.88. Uh, not like a full set. Then there's things like the, the Jelly Roll Stardust pens. They're glitter pens by Secura. I don't use those that often, but if I do, they're in my journal. And now this is my favourite, favourite pen. <laughs> and I don't use it that often because I can't get refills for it. And on Amazon, I can't justify the price considering they're like, you know, kids' school pens. The price of the refills are just stupid. But this pink is great for sketching with. And again, you have seen that on my channel. Let's see what else is in here. There's this Tech Point pen. Very fine tipped and it is water based. So you can add water and get some lovely effects mainly just that now felt tips pilot friction yeah just full of that now we've got the old cheap colored pencil from the supermarket these are triangular shapes and they're just full of wax you know it's really hard to get a mark on the paper and then a stray elastic band because i was keeping everything together but they didn't fit, so I took the elastic band off. So yeah, that is what I'm having in my pencil case at the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!